Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hitesh and I'm back with another tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how CodeRaw tool works in Maya. So I have this skull model, which is quite high poly. It has almost 700,000 polygons. So CodeRaw tool to work, you're going to have to make object live. So any object you're using, which you are going to retopologize or you're using CodeRaw tool on, you have to make sure that object is a live object so you can just select the object go to modify and you can select this make live or you can just go here and you'll see this uh, magnet icon and if you click here then it's going to add this object into this section as you can see and now you cannot select or move your object so let's take code row tool so for that go to mesh tool and here you have code row or you can press shift right click and here you'll see in this panel select it and uh, to work with this tool you're gonna have to create points and with those points we are going to create polygons so if i create four points like this and press and hold shift it's going to show the polygon shape here and if i press left click it's going to convert those point to a polygon you can create as many point as you want so if i create two points here and press shift then you see we have a polygon with only two points because we have a plane nearby so it's going to attach this polygon to the nearest face and we can create another polygon with just two points so if you want to extend this edge so you can just press and hold tab and click on this edge then bring this down and it's going to extrude this part and create another polygon and if you want to extrude this entire edge you can press and hold tab and use your middle mouse button and it's going to extrude the entire thing like this The next thing is, I'm going to extrude this a little bit longer. And if I want another edge here between these faces and I want to add a segment, I can press and hold control and it's going to add another edge like this. And as you can see, that when we added an edge, the topology automatically adjusted and to relax the vertices and optimize your edges you can press and hold shift and then press left mouse button and it's going to just relax the vertices like this so if i create few more points like this and then create polygons as you can see that we have a gap here and i want to connect this edge or this vertex to this one then i can simply just select this and drag it here and it's going to automatically weld this to the vertex here and now you can move it like this and you'll see that all those vertices are attached and again to relax this part just press and hold shift and just use your left mouse button and it's going to work like this and if you press w or q on your keyboard it's going to finalize this entire segment and convert this into a topology so if i press w then we have this mesh here and we can just move it around and you can extrude this so if you are making a cybernetic or cyberpunk kind of model you can use photo tool to create implants on the character's face like this and this tool is widely used to retopologize your mesh and to disable the live object just go here and again click on this magnet and it's going to turn the live off and you can use your mesh again 
so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching